Hello, you all. Still on a late night tip. But what we're gonna do is... We're gonna see what our Elohim want us to know at this time. What messages. What do we need to know at this time? What does our Elohim want us to know at this time? What does our Elohim want us to know at this time? We have Empress. Empress Queen of Cups. We have a King of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and a Devil. So, there could be an Empress Queen of Cups out there, because I did see that, but the Queen of Cups fell out real thick in a thick you know, portion of the deck, so I didn't place it out there, but you could be an Empress Queen of Cups. Don't have to be. You could just be loving. You can just be nurturing in your authority, learning, um, and the devil can feel at a loss about that. I'm also getting that there is an Empress and a King of Swords who teamed up together and did some demonic things, did some karmic behavior together. And they're in the Five of Cups and the Seven of Wands here. They could be, um, they could feel at a loss at this time. Um, they also feel attacked about the truth. So it could be some sadness. They could feel at a loss. They could feel attacked by the truth and clarity that is being brought about what they have been doing here. What they have been partaking in with this magician work and this sex Any sexual escapades. And the manipulation that they have done even through sex. And some through looks. To get a renewal and a balanced relationship and or even a pregnancy here. We have the Eight of Cups in the Tower here. Somebody could be letting go unexpectedly or a tower can be being had at this time or will be in the future. Right now we have um, a Taurus Libra. Feminine possibly and or Capricorn. And then we have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male. And then we have uh, the Three of Pentacles, more Earth energy. Um, these people feel at a loss about the truth coming out here. This Empress was um, committed here to making some sort of sacrifices here. They also kept calling and petty gossiping and 
um, being in slight competition with others here. This individual was committed to the devil too. Both of these individuals were committed to the devil. Maybe the devil was the third, the third party committed to lies and being deceitful here, doing cowardly things that they now regret here, all of the hidden intentions that they had. Somebody mask is falling off. They did a lot of sneaky underhanded things and was very deceitful. Um, they did this for new opportunities in abundance. This is why they were doing this. We have the Ten of Swords, so they would backstab and betray anybody. These individ these two individuals did not care. They would backstab and betray and try to ruin anybody. What's out here on the board is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Heavy. Those are the signs of these ma of this masculine and or this feminine. Air and pinnacle. That just shows how, what their thought process was. Just about the money. Just about possession. Just about stealing from other people. Stealing other people's energy. These three of pinnacles and with this uh, ace of pinnacles, that's four of pinnacles. All they cared about was stealing other people's energy, time, resources, being possessive. <clears throat> they didn't care about who they were completely ruining, who they were taking from. They didn't care about who they were backstabbing, who they were being deceitful to, who they were lying to, who they were destroying. They cared about none of that. Like I said, they were working for the devil. One pinnacle represents this empress, Taurus or Libra. Well, they can really be either an earth sign or an air sign. I'm going to just put it like that. That represents the one feminine. This other pinnacle represents this masculine, air or earth yet again. And this third pinnacle represents the devil. Because that, that's who they was teaming up with. This is what they were doing. And this is what they were committed to. Backstabbing and betraying anybody and trying to completely ruin anybody for an opportunity. Manipulation. These people were being devious and doing magician work. But that's not where they stopped at. They also manipulated people through money and gifts. They also manipulated people through fake love because these people don't have it. That's why all of this air and pinnacle is out here because these some airheads. They was just worried about greed. And passion. They use sex, fake love, their money, and lies, and deceit. This was their magician work. As well as doing witchery with this Queen of Pentacles. And what's going on now is justice and balance is coming in double time things are being balanced so that this stuff that they took from other people is now being given back to other people what these individuals took from other people is now being given back karmic justice the truth is coming out about these individuals here and it could have these individuals feeling at a loss but this is how they had everybody else feeling for who knows how long, how long they ever been even teaming up in the first place. 
doing this to people. However long they've been committed to the devil, like I said, backstabbing and betraying, ten of swords, for abundance. It's all about the pinnacle. For abundance, for their own selfish reasons, they always had hidden intention. Every time. Wearing a mask. It's masculine and it's feminine. This brought them joy to backstab and betray people for abundance here. Cause struggles and battles for other people. They enjoyed this. They enjoyed wanting people to be stuck. They enjoy trying to make other people look crazy when the whole time they've been doing this bullshit. These people are superficial and unawakened. And they may end up going to jail for what they did too as well. However else they tried to get certain opportunities here. They enjoyed wanting people to feel like an outcast, like they were better, but look what they were doing. They got joy out of this, delight. And now the will of fortune is about to change and these individuals is gonna be on the bottom while the people that they try to destroy will be on the top. And these people will suffer heartbreak and loss for what they did. To other people. And these other individuals, these loving individuals, you things will begin to heal for you all. With this Queen of Cups star energy, you don't even have to be a feminine. You could be a masculine or a feminine. You can just have a nurturing energy because this is this these people target these type of people. The type of people that are in their hope have faith because these people were demonic. No hope, no faith. So they did devious things to other people. So everything these individuals did, people will begin begin to be able to heal from with the star and the six of swords. Here comes the healing and here comes the love and the nurturing of the things that these people, uh, how these people had other people under attack here. And it's being brought in by the divine, the love and the nurturing here. With the higher font, the star at the top here. I'm gonna put this just right out here. This healing is being brought in for people in resolution. And the nurturing is coming from the divine. That's this Queen of Cups, Higher Font, Star, Six of Swords. This is coming from the divine. The healing that needs to be had for these individuals here. And these two individuals, they're gonna regret all of those sacrifices that they made against people. Because they not getting away with it like they thought. And that could be the only reason why they even, if they do feel anything, it's only because they got found out and caught. Because they did not care about what they was doing to people here. If they could have got away with it, they would have uh, they would have been happy. Like I said, they felt abundant in doing this to other people, causing this type of loss and trauma. They felt good, but the it, the victory is empty here. With the four swords at the top, they're gonna have to give it a rest, lay it to rest. They have to surrender this here.
everything that they did to get their wishes granted. These were some karmic lovers here. And this is the truth about what they were doing to get their wishes granted. These jealous ass individuals here. Selfish, jealous individuals was doing anything to get their wishes granted and to have their complete happiness. But there was always hidden intentions. This is how they got it. Doing bullshit under the moon here. Trying to persevere over other people. Causing chaos. Risky behavior here. In the name of their own stability. And they're going to regret it. Because now it's about to be a lot of missed opportunities here. These lovers is going to regret doing this. These karmic ass lovers. I'm telling you all they was doing was fucking and doing bullshit under the moon. Being devious. Thinking they was being slick here. Communicating and excited about how they got the victory here. How they felt like they got the victory and had balance and a harmonious relationship here. And that's what they felt like they had. But here's the tower. Here's the unexpected. Here's the blowback and the blow up in their faces here. Because they refuse to walk away from doing this bullshit and trying to have this control over other people's shit. They was holding on tight. Just couldn't let go. Greed. Refusing to walk away from that control. Told you, greed, a stronghold with this strength energy here. Even attacking people, even sending, listen, with this, look, even attacking people, trying to cause death here with these sacrifices that they were making, taking action against people. Could have even been doing some type of death magic too as well. Making these sacrifices here. See, the tower, things is going to transform for these individuals strongly. They're going to be under attack. They're going to be made to sacrifice here. Action is going to be taken against them. Because they went against the flow. partnership that they had five of pentacles it will be stripped they could have created a family together or some type of solid foundation together and they act like everything is fine to the outside world but we have the two of pentacles right at the top of the deck they're gonna see they partnered up and they didn't have much. And then once they start making these sacrifices and doing this bullshit against people, they got that Ten of Pentacles. And they started to rise. Feeling like everything was all fine and dandy for what they was doing. But they finna drop all, they finna drop even lower than what they started out to be. In this Two of Pentacles. All of that hard work they was putting in to sacrifice people and shit is they they go they ass gonna be at a loss. All of this work that they put in. Cause they're gonna be juggling that instability here. Somebody may have even lost a, a child or a baby too as well here. Cause this cycle has to end with them doing this to these people. 
could have suffered some type of loss or um, pregnancy. It's the end of this is the end of I should, I'm gonna just stop it right there. This is people are this is something that's going to be seen. This is the end of this cycle of these people doing this to other individuals. These people can have these other signs in their chart too as well. Aries, Scorpio, Leo, Pisces, Cancer. We already said Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's how that's the Earth signs and the air signs are very highly aspected, but they also have other signs and other placements. Aries, Sag, all the signs is out here, but what's highly, highly aspected is this air and this earth. And if that's not their signs, it just represents Their thought process was just earthly, materialistic. That's all they thought about. They did not have a heart. Very demonic and bounded down to the devil, doing the devil's work. Competitive even. And then these individuals even had the nerve to open up their motherfucking mouth and petty gossip about people while they were doing this to individuals in the background. Very wild. But now they can fill out a loss. But like I said, they only fill out a loss. They only feel sadness because... They're, get, they're about to be hit back with whatever they were doing. Someone lost a child. And because they're being found out and they feel attacked by, about the truth of what they've been doing. Other than that, they would still, they would have been happy, feeling abundant if they wouldn't have got hit back. And if they wouldn't have suffered some losses here, it would have been all to the good. They've been thinking about giving up. One of these people have been thinking about giving up. They're that much at a loss. But this cycle has ended. Their reign is over. And they had to suffer some type of loss in order for it to be over and for it to end. Otherwise, it would not have ended. So it could be some type of pregnancy or somebody lost their life. Or somebody feel like they done lost their spirit doing this stupid shit. So we're going to pull a grateful heart message for this cycle and these people reign of doing this manipulative magician shit. And working for the devil and thinking it's okay to destroy and try to end and kill things in other people's lives. And constantly attack them and try to make them sacrifices for their own damn uh, happiness and selfish reasons. So it's always something to be grateful for. Because these individuals is going to learn a lesson. And then also.
these other people, things are going to come into balance for them and they're going to be giving back what these people stole from them. And in the beginning, when I said this person, when they came out as the Empress Queen of Cups, is because this person could have been pregnant here with that mother energy. And this person has some type of loss here, or some type of complication. And or be or because they're found being found out. They could feel at a loss because they're awakening to this shit coming to an end too as well. I do see it that way as well. They're awakening to what the fuck is about to happen in this cycle that's about to end. That could also be why they feel at a loss. So we have here, if the only prayer you say in your life is thank you, that would suffice. Be happy, yes, leave for joy, for a great reward awaits you in heaven. So for some of you, you could be happy, leave for joy, all is not lost. A great reward will await you in heaven. Especially for the things that you've had to endure. And if the only prayer you say is thank you to the divine. For the divine stepping in and bringing this healing. And purification. And giving back and giving this spiritual guidance that will suffice. Sing a new song to Yahweh, for he has done wonderful deeds. I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Yahweh, make me dwell in safety. This is the day Yahweh has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The blessing of Yahweh be upon you. Yahweh crowns you with love and mercy, a paradise crown. He wraps you in goodness and beauty eternal. Give thanks to Yahweh for he is good and his faithful love endures forever. Come to me all who are labor and heavy laden and I will give you rest with Yahweh. All things are possible. Yahweh makes his people strong. And Yahweh gives his people peace. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be, di do not be discouraged. For Yahweh will be with you wherever you go. So you all don't have to be discouraged no longer. The divine is with you. And again, this is coming to an end. I hope you all got a message from this read that will help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Peace.